Okay, this is something that has been burning in my mind since DJI released the Air 3 back in July. Now, this is a bit of a long story and I want you to be comfortable, so maybe just pause the video here, go get a coffee or tea, maybe a little snack or whatever, and then come back and settle in. Okay, ready? Before I dive into it, I just wanna preface this by saying I am not an expert on camera sensors. I'm a tech guy, yes, and I understand them at a high level, but I certainly don't claim to know everything about them. I do know that sensors take a lot of time and money to develop, and major advancements can take years to go from paper to product. Stack sensors came on the scene around 2019, and they were an improvement over backside illuminated ones, which improved on the previous generation. I also know that only so many companies in the world manufacture them. Companies such as Sony, Samsung, Omnivision, and Panasonic. Companies like DJI do not make their own camera sensors. They source them from other companies, as do many other electronics manufacturers. Okay, this whole story begins after DJI released the Air 3 a couple of months ago. Being an enthusiast, I immediately went over to DJI's site to read all I could. I knew little about the Air 3 because I don't really follow leaks and rumors, so I was quite surprised to read that DJI had dropped from a one inch camera sensor to a one over 1.3 inch sensor, which curiously was the same size as the one on the Mini 3 Pro. Now to back up a step here, when I look at a new camera, drone, whatever, something that takes pictures and shoots video, the first thing I want to know is the sensor size and characteristics. So as I'm looking at the Air 3 sensor specifications, I'm thinking to myself, this sounds very, very similar to the camera specs for the Mini 3 Pro. Yeah, sure, it has a couple more features, but in my mind, I'm thinking this has to be the same sensor. Same size, same resolution, same pixel size, dual native ISO, quad bear, blah, blah, blah. Seems like it's the same sensor to me, but let's go see what YouTube has to say. So I go watch one Air 3 review video and they talk about this new stacked camera sensor. The gist of it is this new stack sensor technology is awesome and that's how the Air 3 achieves its stunning image quality. I think I watched one more video and they were pretty much saying the same stuff. Now I'm really curious, what is the deal on this new stack sensor? I go back to DJI's website and I do a search for stack sensor on the Air 3 page. Nothing comes up. I read through that whole page just to be sure, nothing. I check FAQs, I check the DJI press release. I do a full search on DJI.com, zero hits, nothing. No mention of this new stack sensor. Now I'm really confused. Anytime DJI comes up with something new and cool, they are going to yell it from the rooftops, right? Of course. So I drop into Google and I don't know exactly what I searched for, but I come across this review of the DJI Mini 3 Pro on DP Review's website. Now, DP Review knows a little something about digital photography, surely more than I do, so I'm thinking this is a good place to start. In their review, they talk about the Mini 3 Pro sensor and they suspect it is an OV48C from Omnivision. I click through that link and bingo, 48 megapixels, on-chip HDR, low light performance, bare sensor, blah, blah, blah. And what does it say in the second paragraph? Highlighted in red, no less, stacked die technology. Could this be the sensor? Well, sure looks like it. Just for kicks, I go to Omnivision's product page and they've got this great search tool. I click on a couple of filters to narrow it down and yeah, there's really only one that matches the specs and it's the same one. So remember, we're talking about the Mini 3 Pro here as per the DP Review article, and they're saying it has a stacked sensor, so it's certainly not new. I did some more poking around, read articles, watch reviews, and many are suggesting the Mini 3 Pro and 4 Pro use the same sensor. Further to that, admins in the DJI forums have confirmed that the Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro use the same sensor. Here is my hypothesis. The Air 2S has a one inch sensor. Now, I'm being a bit facetious here, but we all know enough about sensors to know that bigger sensor equals good, smaller sensor equals less good. So when DJI decided to drop down from a one inch sensor to a three quarters of an inch sensor, they knew that people wouldn't like it. Even though the Air 3 had two cameras, lots of other good stuff and great image quality, they needed it to sound better. 
And certainly a drone like the Air 3 can't have the same sensor as a drone lower down on the scale. That's no good either. So it had to be something new to be more acceptable and more marketable. I know what you're thinking, but Steve, the Air 3's image quality is better. Yeah, you're right. It is better, or it certainly looks that way to my eye. And that's because DJI improved the image processing pipeline. There's more computational power in the Air 3 versus the Mini 3 Pro. And with that, they are able to achieve better results from the same sensor. That's it. Of course though, this extra processing is going to take some additional computational power. CPU, GPU, ISP, DSP, who knows? That's not the point. The point is better image processing can achieve better results with the same camera sensor. So let's go back to the beginning. Why does this even matter? Well, it doesn't. The only reason I went down this rabbit hole in the first place is I just wanted to know about this new stack sensor. I wanted a straight up answer, I couldn't find one, and that made me more curious. Looking in the DJI forums, other people are asking similar questions. What sensor does the Mini 4 Pro use? Does the Air 3 and Mini 4 Pro use the same sensor? I've taken that a step further and I believe that the Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, Air 3, and now Mini 4 Pro all use the same stacked sensor. Any improvement in image quality, especially for the latter two, comes from what I talked about, better image processing. And I really don't care what camera sensor any of those drones use. I have no ulterior motive here. If the image quality is appreciably better, it's better. That's great, end of story. I don't care how it's achieved. Regardless of what sensor these drones are using, all of them produce excellent results and they just keep getting better. So that's it, end of rant. I feel like I've cracked the case here. I've satisfied my curiosity and hopefully solved the mystery for some other folks too. So what do you guys think? Good hypothesis or completely off my rocker? Let me know in the comments below. Just be nice about it. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.